Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So today I wanted to get ready whilst I filmed a little video talking about the main differences that I've seen between France and the UK. I've only lived in France for two weeks now, but there are so many things that I've just noted down on my phone that I've noticed that so many people do differently here that I'm just not used to. But I feel like if I'm staying till December, I'm gonna become accustomed to these things and I'll come back to the UK and people will think I'm so strange. Actually, I should probably do a disclaimer. I don't think France is a strange country. In fact, I really, really love it here. It's just obviously not what I'm used to, so then sometimes I notice things and I'm like, oh, that's that's kind of sad. Or actually, there's some positive things in this video. I also have an iced coffee with me and I will be talking about that in a second, actually. I'm ready to get started on this video. It's gonna be a really hot day today. I'm so excited because in my last video, I was saying it was really, really hot, right? And then it got suddenly really cold. It was like 20 degrees, 19 degrees. And I was like, get the hot weather back, please. I'm in France. And then it came back. So that's all good. Oh, also I should probably say, I live in Lyon, not in Paris or anything like that. And not in like a French village in the middle of nowhere. So I reckon these things, you know, it's all like personal experience. I don't know if anyone else would have noticed these things when they moved to France, but this is just what I've noticed within these two weeks of living here. Okay, so the first thing, I'm actually going to be talking about my Starbucks now. So, my Starbucks order is an iced oat latte. I kind of knew this before I moved here. It's kind of uncommon for cafes to have like ice. All of the cafes near me in this area, they only do hot drinks. Guys, I don't like hot drinks. I don't even like mugs. Like, you know how hot drinks are served in mugs? I hate mugs. There's just something about them. I've always had a thing about them. I'm not really sure why. And yes, sometimes it does set me back in life because, you know, there's mugs in every household and I don't really like drinking out of them. But I actually got the Metro to get my ice oat latte. I went to the closest Ooh. Starbucks, about two miles away. But yeah, totally worth it. It's kind of sad because you guys know me. In England, I always started my day with my breakfast and then a coffee, but I just can't do that here. Here because I don't have a coffee machine and there's not a cafe near me really that serves iced oat lattes. So yeah, that's one thing that I've noticed since moving to France. A lot of the time in cafes, yes, there's so much choice with pastries. You know, you can get pretty much anything. You can get croissants, pan of chocolate, pan of paisana, basically any cafe near here. But in terms of drinks, it's pretty much limited to like normal coffee. I feel like loads of places do freshly squeezed orange juice though. And you guys know I love that if you've watched my Toulouse vlog. Whilst we're on that topic actually, something else that I've noticed is is that the French don't really add things to their coffee choices. Like they would just say in cafe. And then sometimes when I ask for oat milk, I'm not entirely sure if they'll have it in stock or like if they'll give me a bit of a strange look. Earlier when I was in Starbucks, you know, I'm trying to immerse myself as much as possible because even though I know the workers in Starbucks here all have to speak English so that they can serve all the tourists. I asked for my order in French and I said, je vais un café glacé avec le lait d'avoine s'il vous plaît. And then they replied back to me in English and I was like, Damn. I don't know if it was my English accent or the way I ordered it. Maybe normally people say different words for that. Part of me thinks the fact that I got oat milk added to it made me seem English because French milk, well, I just have a feeling French people don't tend to add different milks to their order. I also get that feeling because actually there is a cafe in walking distance to here that does diet oat lattes, but you have to pay like 70p extra for oat milk. And all of the places I used to go to in like Bristol or Nottingham, you didn't really have to pay extra for oat milk in the same way that you do here, which makes me think it is a little different and kind of more of an addition to your order rather than an alteration. Anyway, you know how I got the metro to get this iced oat latte? I've got to talk to you about the transport here. It's absolutely incredible, okay? Don't know if it's just Lyon. I don't know if it's every city in France, right? I hope it is because that would be really good. Basically, the other day I stood in a queue for one and a half hours. It was so worth it to get a travel card, which allows me to have unlimited travel for a certain price for the next two months. And I'm so buzzing to just get the metro tram bus to see all of my friends, see all of the places I wanted to go in Lyon, just basically for free at this point because I've already paid for my travel for the next two months. So it's like, I can use a card as much as I want, which is so good. Getting the Metro to get the Starbucks was worth it because like it didn't cost me any extra, you know? What's really good about the transport here is that it runs so regularly. Like in England, the amount of times I've been waiting for a bus and then suddenly I look at the timetable and it's just like disappeared off like, you know, the electronic timetable. It says bus coming in three minutes. And then I look again, it's gone. In front, it's very, very on time. I haven't had any of my metros delayed and the metros here come every three minutes. So if you're literally walking down the escalator in the station, see the metro go away. It's literally not a big deal because there's going to be another one coming in three minutes. They run super late. They run even later on a Friday and Saturday. So you can like go out, get the metro back, whatever, as long as you're with friends because I probably wouldn't get it alone at night. It's really, really good. And then obviously with this travel card actually, let me tell you about it. I can get like the metro, tram and the bus, like all unlimited 
to travel for the next few months. I just feel like I could go anywhere at this point with this card. I literally took a special trip yesterday, actually. Basically, I live near a lot of supermarkets, but they're all kind of like Tesco Express vibes. Like, they're smaller supermarkets, which I'm sure makes them more expensive. So what did I do? I got the tram to the biggest Lidl in Lyon, because why not? It was free. Anyway, yeah, I could rave about the transport all day. It is so, so good. Oh, by the way, yeah, I went to Starbucks and then I poured it into this. And I literally was struggling so hard. Because in the metro, I really wanted to drink it all, but I was like, no, I'm saving it for my video. It tastes a little different to the ice cream lattes that they do in England. It tastes sweeter. She asked if I wanted any sweeteners, and I was literally like, no thanks, but I don't know. My next thing that I've noticed, which is a little different here, is that people are so much more daring when they cross the road. I noticed this on my very first day in Lyon, because me and my mum, because my mum came with me for a couple of days, right? So we were waiting at a pedestrian crossing. We were waiting to see the green man, right? Because they have them just same as England, they have the red man, you wait, green man, you cross the road. So we see the green man, we start crossing the road. Okay, this is actually a bit of a different thing. We start crossing the road, and then the car just zooms past. Even though there's like a green man, the cars still go over the zebra crossing. They literally don't care. And then also, when it's like a red man, sometimes people like cross the street halfway, and then a car goes, and then they cross the rest. Like, no, I can't do that. I'll always be like waiting for the green man, because I just feel like I'm gonna get hit by a car or something. If I start crossing the road like the French, oh, wish me luck. Okay, and speaking of supermarkets, right? I find that the food shops here are really expensive. And I lived in Bristol for uni, right? And that's meant to be the second most expensive student city in the UK. So I thought coming to Lyon, I would notice like cheaper food. And I also thought in France, they grow a lot of fruit. I thought maybe if I eat seasonally, my shop will be cheaper, that kind of thing. So, you know, I've been buying a lot of nectarines, apricots, and they're so freaking good. That's so expensive. And for what? Like, I don't really understand. Even like, I was trying to find oats the other day, and and I just wanted like own brand oats. I'm not too particular when it comes to like organic food or anything like that. I literally just wanted your standard oats. Like just a kilogram of oats. That's all I wanted. But it was so tricky to find. Basically all of the oats that I found were like, you know, branded or like bio. Like they've got an organic range here, which is absolutely everywhere. But it's so, so expensive. But they literally just didn't have like a normal bag of oats. Something else I just haven't found here is like flax seeds. I'm pretty sure the only place that I can find these kind of things like flax seeds, ground almonds and sunflower seeds, the kind of things I put in my oats in the morning, I'm pretty sure I can only get them at like a zero waste store. And zero waste stores, as much as I love them, they're quite pricey. So I find that like all of the food I've been buying here has been so expensive. Sometimes I think if I went out and got a sandwich with a friend for like three euros fifty, that would literally be cheaper than making the sandwich myself at this point. Because generally, speaking of, right, <laughs> this is quite good, it leads me on to my next topic. There's a couple of boulangeries close by and I was like I don't want to be like consistently buying bread from like supermarkets when there's so many like fresh bread places around here so I don't really know why I can't talk in the right order today so yeah I've been to a couple of boulangeries and I find right they don't really do small baguettes here they do just basically massive baguettes like you know the kind the ones that are like this long so obviously I can't eat one of them in a day so what I've been doing is having like a half of the baguette or a third of the baguette and saving it for the next day and sometimes I keep it in the fridge just to keep it a bit fresh but next day when I go to buy the baguette, it's like rock solid. And I just want to eat baguette, but I can't because they go stale unless I eat like a whole baguette in a day. But what's strange, right, is I see like even students who must just be like having their own baguettes like me, I see them walking around with tote bags and they've got like three full size baguettes sticking out of their tote bags. Like the stereotypes are true. And it's such a vibe. And I just want to be like that. But how am I meant to eat a baguette in one day? I mean, I've got two flatmates. We could share a baguette, but like, I don't know. That just seems a little extra. Another thing is, as well. You know how I was saying the supermarkets are really expensive? The baguettes are really cheap. So I don't want to spend more on the bread in the supermarket when I could just get a baguette for like so much cheaper, like less than a euro, like a full size baguette. I don't know. I don't really know what to think, but I do want to keep having baguettes. So if anyone has any tips, let me know. But speaking of the stereotypes, right, of all of the French people walking around, their baguettes sticking out their bag, just like casually down the street. I've heard so many people go like, ooh la la. And I always thought that that was just like a French stereotype, like no one really says ooh la la. I thought it was one of those things like you know how people are always like oh British people are just sipping cups of tea all day when I really don't like tea. It's the last one even true. I feel like a lot of French stereotypes are genuinely so true. Even when I had my first day of my internship I arrived at the staff meeting at the beginning of the day and there's trays and trays of mini croissants and I think that's just normal at like a teacher training day to have a little breakfast and then also with lunch at the teacher training there was like glasses of rosé and this was a like 12 p.m. and I just feel like you would not get that at a teacher training day in the UK. 
UK. And I know that they didn't just do it for us because us three like internationals, we were the minority here. Most of them were just like regular teachers, science teachers, religious studies teachers, the kind of people you get at this school, right? So I think it is just quite normal to have like a glass of rosé with your lunch on like a teacher training day. It's so French and I absolutely love it. And even though it was 12 p.m., I did not turn down the rosé. I don't normally drink rosé as well because in year 13 on my leavers day, I literally drank a whole bottle of rosé and then I was sick everywhere. So normally I don't even drink rosé. I was thinking, you know, when in France, you gotta do these things, you know? Oh, I've just seen something on my list which I wanna bring up. Even though I've already talked about transport, I'm gonna go back to that topic. It is so clean everywhere in public here. I feel like on the tube in London, when I've been, there's always a bit of litter. Even then trams in Nottingham are so grimy. Like I literally feel like I wanna have a whole shower when I get home after being on them. But the metros here will never see any litter. I haven't seen any litter in the streets either. There's quite a lot of bins around, which is good. And I feel like if I were to litter, if I were to like drop something on the floor, I'd get so many disapproving looks. Whereas, you know, in the UK, if someone like drops a cigarette on the floor, it's a bit like, ooh, but you don't really like say anything. I just know if I were to do something like that here, you know, there'd be chaos. I just think I'd get really, really judged, which is such a good thing. Like, I feel like in general, French people just have a lot of respect for the area in which they live. Also on the metro, actually, there are sometimes, even though it's like really clean and in general, a really nice, efficient kind of system, really nice space to be in. There's also signal on the metro here which I love because I can basically like call people and play my music and it's all good but sometimes on the metro there are literal like beggars like there are people that are saying like they're homeless and they need food for the night or whatever and you know if you got that in London people would just have their headphones in and be like they'd literally pretend they didn't hear the homeless person and just like carry on with their day right here people are generally so kind I've been on the metro twice where a homeless person has stood up and said a little speech about like their background and where they're at and why they need money and then all these French people People just start giving them change and I just feel like that would not happen in London like people do not just give change to homeless people in the same way that they do here kind of going back to the subject of supermarkets so I've been in quite a few here so I've kind of tested out the ones close to me to see which ones are the most expensive and which ones cheapest I find that I've got like four supermarkets close to me I'm really really lucky and two of them right are Aldi's and Lidl's which is incredible but the other ones are called Ante Marche and Casino now I found that Casino know is the equivalent of Waitrose slash Marks and Spencers. I went there for my first few food shops because it is open 24-7 pretty much on a Sunday and most places are completely closed on a Sunday afternoon at least. But in general now I avoid it because I realise that the prices are so much worse than Aldi and Lidl. Like they overcharge so much for everything. Like even the same products which are sold in Aldi it's like twice the price in casino. So I'm only going to go there for emergencies on a Sunday. Anyway something I've noticed about supermarkets markets here like all of them pretty much is that they have a separate entrance door and exit door so the amount of times I've tried to enter through the exit and I get so many disapproving looks I don't know I feel like in the UK they don't have that so often they normally just have like one big door that you enter and exit through I'm not really sure what the reason is like maybe they implemented this kind of thing in COVID like a one-way system it is quite stressful and also something else is it's kind of old-fashioned because you have to weigh your fruit in a lot of supermarkets it's not all of them. You have to weigh your fruit on a machine and then print out a label and then stick it onto a bag with the fruit in. Also, sometimes they use plastic bags for the fruit, which I'm always a bit surprised about because in the UK, I'm pretty sure they use paper bags everywhere. So I just feel like France is maybe a little bit behind like the environmental stuff. Maybe soon they'll start implementing paper bags everywhere because already in about half the supermarkets I've been to, it's been paper bags. But in some of them, it's still plastic. So yeah, you have to go to a machine, print out the sticker or the barcode, and then when you go to self-service, you just scan the barcode but it is a bit old-fashioned like my mum said that they used to do that like in the like early 2000s or something in England I can't remember that but like it's just a little different here okay my last thing is that I've noticed that the kids here stay out so freaking late I'm not even talking about kids as in like teenagers literally like little kids who are probably about five years old I went for a meal with my mum we were in like the city centre it was like it was a Tuesday night to be fair actually it was a Tuesday night it wasn't even like a Friday or Saturday night and we were in the main square it's probably about half past ten and there were so many little kids with their families and I feel like that is really cute to be fair like I feel like whilst you have kids at that age it's nice to make as many memories as possible and obviously do like loads of activities as a family even going out for a meal you like 
bring the kids along. I feel like that's really wholesome. But the kids in general here seem so happy. Like whenever I see them out late at night, they're not crying, they're not tired. Like maybe it works that they still get the right amount of sleep. Perhaps they just like lie in in the mornings and stay out a bit later at night. I don't really know how it works here. But yeah, I've just noticed that the kids often stay out with their parents. Okay, so I'm all ready for the day now and I've totally run out of things to say, but I'm sure literally in the next week I'll come up with some more. So let me know if you want to see a part two. But yeah, in general, as I said, this was just my first experience. I absolutely love it here. If I made any complaints in this video, those are literally the only complaints I have about this country. Oh, actually, I should probably mention, I thought of just one more. Another thing, right, is that French people really, really encourage you to travel around their country. Like, you can so tell that they're really, really proud of their heritage. Like, the amount of times that a French person, like one of the people I work with, has heavily encouraged me to travel France. Like, for example, I've got a friend who's going to be studying in Bordeaux, and someone said, like, you definitely have to go to Bordeaux, even though it's kind of far from here, so I wasn't totally sure if I'd be able to visit her. They were literally like, no, you have to go. They were like, you have weekends, use them. But, you know, I've been really encouraged to go around Lyon, see the historical sites and that kind of thing, which I really, really like. I love how passionate the French are about their country. Anyway, that's a little addition there that I just thought of. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know what else you want to see. I plan on filming a video very, very soon about what it's really like to take a year abroad and what to expect and what maybe they don't tell you before you move abroad. But yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, follow my TikTok because I've been making a couple of TikToks since coming here, but I'm also posting them on YouTube Shorts. So check both of those out. I also have an Instagram if you want to go follow it. I feel like I never mentioned that in my videos. But yeah, it will all be in the description. So I'll see you very, very soon. Bye!